Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here that I have on. I absolutely love this look. This is a very bronzy but orange based makeup look. <laughs> I feel like this is perfect for both summer and fall and as crazy as it is, we are approaching fall. It's coming very soon. So you could still wear this during the summertime, but it is also really great for the fall season because it's just very like warm and sultry and stuff like that. So yeah, I really like this look. I hope that you guys like it too. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting off with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek as usual. And I'm using an E40 brush from Sigma to apply this throughout the crease. And this is just the perfect base transition shade for all of your other eyeshadows. Next, I'm going in with this color from Morphe. It's in the color Deep Skin. And on an, I think this is an E35 brush, I'm just working this throughout the crease just to warm it up a little bit more. Then I'm adding Chickadee from Makeup Geek. This just adds a lot more oranginess to the eye look and I really like it. I've wanted it for so long. So this is one of my new favorite eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. All right, now we're going in with Cocoa Bear. On an E25 brush from Sigma, I'm just working this through the crease and also on the inner and outer corner, sorta of, kinda of creating a spotlight eye. You don't really have to do that, but just mainly focusing it throughout the crease and making it very round. You don't wanna elongate this, just make it very, very round. Now I'm taking Rule from MAC and putting it through the crease. After I was looking at this footage, it really didn't make that much of a difference, so you could just skip this step. Also, I don't know if you would noticed, but I'm using my old camera for this video, and I feel like it just looks so much brighter and whiter, so let me know your thoughts on the camera situation. Let me know which one you like better or if it really doesn't matter. All right, next I'm using this eyeliner pencil from Sigma. I'm using this as a base all over my eyelids so that the next color we put on just goes on more intense. All right, now for the fun part. I'm going in with Flame Thrower from Makeup Geek. That's a tongue twister. This is one of their foiled shadows and their foiled shadows are Basically my favorite eyeshadow formula. They're so creamy and they go on so nicely and pigmented. And I mean, look at this color. It pretty much speaks for itself. Now I'm adding some mascara. It doesn't really matter what kind because I'm gonna go in with false lashes. And these false lashes are from the brand Crown Moiety. They're actually synthetic lashes and I haven't used synthetic lashes in a while, but these were like, holy crap, they were so dramatic. Um, so you definitely don't have to go with such of a dramatic false lash, but um, yeah, I had fun today. So now I'm trying a new foundation and it was super, super dark. I have to go back and exchange it. Um, I felt like super orange all day long, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and I'm just applying it with my Makeup Geek foundation brush. Um, I only wore it like once or twice and so far, so good. And now for my concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color Light Warm and I'm buffing it in with this brush from Sigma. It's like the dome-shaped kabuki brush. And then because my foundation was so dark, I'm setting the under eye area with the banana shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit. Usually I need even lighter than the lightest shade, but <laughs> I was looking pretty tan today. So now I'm gonna set my whole face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So far, I like this as well. This is a pretty new product for me too, but I really like it so far. Now I'm bronzing my face. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze in 35i. And I'm just bronzing all the areas of my face and then I'm contouring. I'm using this Makeup Geek blush brush to contour my face. And now I'm using this blush from Makeup Geek as well in the color Summer Fling. It's like a bright orangey color and I really, really like it. Now I'm highlighting. I'm using the Apricot Shimmer Brick from Bobbi Brown and I'm highlighting and I also took a little bit of the darker shades over my cheek. Now with a liner brush, I'm tightly putting Cocoa Bear right on my lash line and then I'm blending it out with any of your transition shades from before. It could be Chickadee, it could be Peach Smoothie, whatever you like. And as usual, my eyes are watering like crazy. And now I'm just adding a lot of mascara to the bottom lashes just because the top lashes were super, super dramatic. 
And now I'm spraying my face with the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray in All Nighter. And I went and fixed my hair. I hate putting on my lips before I do my hair. So now that I did my hair, I'm applying Subculture Lip Liner from MAC. And then this YSL Lipstick in number 10. It's like the perfect nude ever. And it's so pretty. It's relatively new to my collection and I've been wearing it a lot this month. I'm not a fan of nude lipsticks, so the fact that I like this one is like a pretty big deal. And then I'm applying this gloss from Sigma as well. It kind of just complemented the eyes perfectly because it has a very warm orangey base in it, but the lips were still nude. And now that our lips are done, the look is now complete. So that's everything for this video. If you liked it, thumbs it up and let me know all of your requests, your comments and everything down below in the comment section. I feel like I say the same thing at the end of every video. I feel like I can switch up the beginning, but the end is always the same. I don't know why, but you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.